Hey, what's up guys, Wicked Android HD here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to flash latest Cyanogen Mode 12 optimized build with the Saber mod. So, first of all, all you need to do is to make an Android backup. I do always recommend making an Android backup before proceeding to the flashing part because in case if something goes wrong or you don't like the ROM you're going to be flashing, all you need to do is to simply go to mount and storage and restore uh, sorry to backup and restore and restore your um, latest uh, good backup configuration um, so all you have to do is to go here and backup to SD card one or SD card in order to backup then if you don't like it wipe and then restore either from SD card or SD card one so after you've made an Android backup uh, this is a vital step, go into wipe and format options and clean to install your RAM. This will wipe all your data on your uh, phone uh, except uh, the SD card or the external SD card. So this is uh, should be an optimized version of uh, Cyanogen mode. I'm going to be testing it a couple of seconds after it boots up. So right now it's formatting system. Um, the first booting process will take up to 5 to 10 minutes because it converts the cache from Dalvik to Art. So press any key to continue, we're done with that. Then we're going to go and install zip. I have put the zip file on my external SD card, that's why I have chosen the SD card one. Um, so let's see, Saber mod, Sanagin mode 12.1, it was released on 12th of April 2015. Okay, so we're going to choose this and then we're going to be flashing gaps, um, gaps minimal edition I think. Yeah, gaps minimal edition. Okay, so right now it's flashing the Cyanogen mode Saber mod. I read on the XDA trade that it benefits of uh, Arky's optimization. Um, freak, we'll see how it performs live. Here on the Wicked Android HD page. Okay, so the flashing process is taking more than usual, but I have experienced this problem already, so you'll have to to hurry up just uh, be patient it will flash perhaps it uh, optimizes the build right now because it says something about the file system partition which is the xt4 Linux partition uh, I remember that uh, on the Galaxy S1 I used to convert it to XT2 only because I needed to be faster but XT2 was not as stable as the XT4 it has a lot it uh, for example if the if you to the device was uh, force forcefully powered up um, you would be, you know, you you would have lost your some of your data, and you would would have end up with uh, a lot of false closes. So it's taking uh, it's taking a while. I don't know why, but uh, I think I'm gonna get back to you guys after it finishes the flashing. No. Right now it's so 
say it's gonna take a while I think it's optimizing something I can otherwise I can't I couldn't explain why is it taking so long so Saber Mod CM12 complete then we're gonna go into SD card and flash minimal gaps this one because I like it to be more minimalistic so gaps it's done let's see the boot animation come on okay so we're booting up right now and afterwards I will show you the ROM after I configure it up so let's check out the boot animation whoa sign again sign again sign again looks sick if you ask me let's take a look at this so sign again beautiful so I'm gonna get back to you guys after it I've configured my Galaxy S4 running Saber Mod CM12 stay tuned okay guys I'm back I have configured my Galaxy S4 running CM12 Saber Mod just take a look at this so as you may see I'm running um, Saber Mod CM 12.1 and version 5.1 Kernel Edition Synergy Synergy Build number it was built on 12th of April um, On the first look it doesn't seem very different uh, from any other ASP Synergy mode based ROMs um, apps that you will get is uh, either way which is a very important app if you want to get rid of ads uh, default Sam's, uh, Samsung mode um, equalizer audio FX browser uh, let's take a look at uh, how it performs so let's search GSM arena sorry Emma Watson sorry it's very hard to manipulate behind the camera GSM Arena, okay. And then we're gonna get into GSM Arena website, and then we're gonna scroll down until we see desktop version, and then we'll check out how it moves. Blazing fast, as you may see, no problem. Okay, calculator, default one, calendar, camera, let's take a look at the camera. Um, Tag a location. Okay, so this is the camera. Bam. Okay, that was the photo. Um, clock, application, contacts. Let's take a look at how fast you can uh, call somebody. Okay, let's see. pretty fast okay so we have a heads up notifications um, let me send myself a message just to show you how it looks like so to me hello I'm gonna close this off so as you may see the LED is blinking and of course the daydream beautiful application that shows you this notification so um yeah you can reply to your message you can read or you can call who sent you a message the person who sent you a message immediately 
um, messaging uh, music player and let's get into let's dive into settings not many things different here uh, CM12 theme support you can customize your buttons here down below your lock screen lock screen shortcuts of course and here we get in the personal side uh, this is CM12 own uh, we have customization we have system profiles have status bar thick tweaks so you can set your clock into center as you may see you can disable its per user indicator very status style icon landscape that it looks bad portrait uh, notification draw you can customize here all the thugles you can add as many thugles as you want to to have compass I like this thing the most um, so apart from that there's there's no s maybe performance hmm. running this kernel it's pretty fluid but I guess every single uh, I have flashed so many lollipops, lollipop ROMs that uh, I must assure you that every one of them is blazing fast it just depends in time on how stable it is I can confirm that because I can test it for more than one day so that is up to you guys I'm just making a review on how to show you how it looks and how it behaves uh, this is blazing fast even with the stock kernel I think if we download the kernel edutor sorry again it's hard to manipulate okay so if we download this application you can customize the kernel let's see so it's installing Again, let's test a new feature. Feature on uh, in the 5.1 Android Lollipop. So it should have popped something here, but it no root available. That's bad. That's bad because we haven't activated root from here. Yes, we did, but what? What? What the fuck? Yeah, so as I told you, this is a stability problem. Nope, it isn't. So we have here root again. So this is an application that controls the kernel. Let's see if it is actually. So CPU, maximum frequency. Yeah, CPU governor, Intel Active. Yes, we have it. We can customize every single thing related to the kernel, miscellaneous control, vibration strength, and yeah. So if you want to customize the kernel, this kernel performance, you know, just make sure you download kernel editor, and then uh, you will be ready for it. So it uses Nova Launcher as the default launcher it's uh, the best one in my opinion so I haven't got any complaints about it so yeah overall it's a very good ROM but as I told you every single Lollipop ROM feels the same looks the same and has got the same tweaking part so um, in comparison with a KitKat one which uh, for example AOKP which I've recently reviewed um, the yeah, e AOKP had hell of a lot of options, even it their own uh, application, you know, to customize everything. But uh, this feels faster, and yeah, I hope you like it, guys. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. I'll put a link in the description with all the files you'll need in order to flash this ROM. So thanks for watching, guys. Victandroid is out. Bye bye.